How's it going everyone? I'm Slowbark Bringers today, another video, and today we are uh, actually playing in Diamond 2, I believe, ELO, on my Solar Bucket account, my Rex is starting blue buff, so if you guys like the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next, subscribe, and yeah. Also, uh, yeah, also make sure you guys subscribe to my second channel, Solar Bucket Highlights, link will be in the description below, should be epic, and... Yeah. yeah yeah i think that's about everything i wanted to say gp versus riven gonna be looking for early solo kills <laughs> back it one more time run back to lane Pretty much in this matchup, we're just gonna be fucking uh, pushing this ribbon in. Since she took this long to get to lane, I'm assuming she leashed. She probably start Q too. She did start D Blade, she's playing for an aggressive start. Hey, stop doing that! My dog, Ranger's freaking scratching the... the couch. Pushing. I can cheat a recall versus Riven instead of Freeze. I might be able to dive her depending on how she plays, but right now I don't think I can do that. Huge. I'll take my time with her. I'm far from oh, hold up. I can't. I may, gotta make sure she doesn't pull that way. Now we just reset. We reset with a successful cheater recall. She's gonna have to use all of her cooldowns to clear that cannon wave. She won't have any for this wave coming up. I think I pushed a little slow. But overall, not bad. Nice. So automatically, I'm thinking that their majority AD, the only AP they have is Fizz. But because Fizz is falling behind early game, I don't think I'll need to itemize versus him. Also, I just noticed I have a Teemo support. I did not actually see this, but... You know what? Whatever, I've seen worse. <laughs> I've seen way worse and way higher elo. Alright, let's just set a freeze up now. Place a ward to make sure I don't get ganked randomly. Okay. Completely calculated as usual. And we get a kill. Very nice. I can stay in lane as well because I have pots and I have orange coming up. Riven did end up using her flash and now we can perma freeze on her. Well, actually, it's going to be hard to freeze because she's going to be coming back to lane with full health. I'm going to recall once I get my Sheen, if possible. Canceling my auto, because I think she's going to... Ooh! Damn, I probably could have gotten something there. I don't know where Riven's going, so I'm just going to recall and buy my Sheen. Oh, 
Cover in and then try to dive her. I wonder if I can cancel a recall. Very nice. Tri uh, I get a bunch of assists there as well. And I think she has to stay in lane. So I'm going to set up a dive. She also has no flash. Which makes this a lot more easier. This barrel has a sheen proc on it. He's dead here. Oh! Oh! He's dead. Whatever. <laughs> I did that really slow, but I get to kill her. Not pr not a big deal. <laughs> I still get to dominate her for free because of how I played early laning phase. So even even if I make like a simple mechanical error or it doesn't look as clean as it could be, I still get to win the lane because of how I played those early waves. And ultimately, that's kind of what it comes down to. If you don't mess up early laning phase, you kind of can play really bad or pretty mediocre and just always have a way back into the game or a way to always win the game. I think, honestly, I just do this now. I could go Phage, but I'd rather just make this guy, like, rage quit. If I haven't already. Is that it? Is is that the game? Did I just solo kill Riven twice and she rage quit? The sea has no memory, but I mean, I can set a freeze here, but I I don't see Riven coming back. This is Diamond Two. It is that it? Did I just win the game from? A, like Senna and Pike are still in the game, I think. I just ulted, got a kill. I mean, my bot lane was crushing it. But uh, their bot lane's still like playing the game, I think, no? I think Riven just, just left. Well, I, I guess this is how you make a Riven rage quit in five minutes. Or six minutes, I guess. Like, she's... Uh, I mean, I guess she's still here, but she's not playing the lane. That's it. I... I, <laughs> I guess we won the game. Bot stomped, top stomped. Mid actually lost, it looks like, because Fizz is 2-0. Two two Uh, okay, I mean, I guess this is how you make a Riven Rage quit in literally five minutes. <laughs> Granted, I coin flipped the bot lane, but Riven's lane was doomed. I bought tabbies, I had a ruby crystal, and the wave was shoving to me. If you don't believe me, you can go rewind the video. You can see that the wave was pushing to me. I set a freeze, and if she ever tries to break it, she dies. Okay. And Volley wouldn't be able to gank me either. He was so behind.
Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think it was a bad video considering I still curb stomp or uh, I still destroyed this uh, ribbon. I think I'm still gonna upload this for the sake of. I mean, you guys already know. You guys already know this video is gonna be juice. How to make a ribbon rage quit in five minutes? Everyone's gonna love to see a ribbon just get destroyed. But oh, I wish it would have went a little bit longer. Okay. I mean, I guess there you have it. I have nothing else to say. I I I think that's how you make a a rage uh you make a diamond ribbon rage quit in just 5 minutes. All right, let me not add him. Hold on. Let me unaccept that. Let me unsend that. D3? Wait, I just demoted her. She was D2. I just demoted the Riven. Oh my god, I just added onto her win or her loss streak. Poor Riven. Riven one trick. One million... Oh my god, she has one million mastery points and I made her rage quit in five minutes. Uh... Okay, well if you guys did like the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next. See you next, subscribe, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.